remove distraction this is the most important part this is the most important thing that student used to feel when they are trying to interact with us i'm not saying that all the distractions you can remove immediately what i can say that you can remove the distractions one by one and today we will be talking about how to maintain the consistency in your studies so let's start the session so before i'll start the session i just want to let you know that everybody can do the planning you go and try to search any person in this whole world you pick any particular person that person will give you the plan creating a plan or maintaining a plan is not a big issue the most important thing that you people can do is basically you have to maintain the consistency in your studies because see there are two parts everywhere one part is basically the planning other part is basically the execution so if you don't do if you if you are not doing the execution so everything is basically the plan only so the most important thing is how you are you know trying to be consistent in your studies or how you are trying to maintain the discipline in your studies that's the most important part planning is in the whole game planning plays only the 30% role the 70% role are basically maintained by the consistency 70% roles are maintained by the discipline so if you do if you are not consistent with your studies everything are basically just a plan so how you people can maintain the consistency in your examination the first thing is you have to create what you have to create which is nothing but a study schedule okay so first thing try to divide your whole schedules into small small part so for example suppose if you are preparing for gate 2026 or if you are preparing for gate 2027 so what you have to do create a plan for 3 days create a plan for 10 days so for the first if you will ask me i would be recommending that do not try to plan for 3 months or do not try to plan for 6 months try to do the planning for at least 21 days if you stick to this particular planning everything will go smooth second part is basically your try to break down the task into the smaller and manageable chunks theek hai this is also very very important so you try to break down your task and the third most important part is prioritize your task whether you want to solve the first you have to do the practice or you have to do the revision so every day every day say i'm talking about 21 day plan but before that you also have to maintain a plan for one day also so try to you know do the planning for one day and try to you know break down your task and second thing is try to prioritize your task so in that particular single day whether you want to give a priority for a revision whether you want to give a priority for a uh, uh, problem solving whether you want to do the priority for a pyqs so this is the most important part so whether you are starting with your preparation and then the those people who are having a large amount of problems with the consistency those people can follow this particular videos or you can also share with your friends so so the first thing is create a study schedules and break down the task into multiple tasks and try to achieve every task and third you priority uh, prioritize your task now the second thing is set clear and achievable goals so whenever you try to prepare any particular thing try to maintain that whether you can achieve it or not for example there is no point of creating a 21 day program or there is no point of creating a 6 months program whether if you are not able to achieve it for example sometimes the students think that sir i want to study this particular subject sometimes they are thinking that i want to start with respect to this particular subject so what i'll say that what i will suggest you that try to take one particular subject whether you are very comfortable into that so take a comfortable subject and try to see that whether you are going accordingly to gate examination or not because taking a starting a subject is also it matters a lot okay so you have to take a one particular subject whether uh, you know it will be easy it will be tough based on your priority based on your standard format if you are very good into mathematics starts with engineering mathematics if you are very good into the toc part start with the toc part if you are very good into the programming start with the programming part so what you do try to take one particular goal and try to see whether it is achievable or not because the main problem that student used to face is they do not have any idea how to prepare for gate examination what they do is basically they first 
create or they try they randomly just start the preparation of a gate examination and they do not have any particular idea but believe me sometimes it will requires one month just to understand what kind of gate questions they are asking what are the breakdowns of the gate examinations what are the problems that they are giving into the gate examinations how to achieve those type of problems how to solve the revision how to do the revision how to solve the questions how to solve the pyqs so these all are the important things that you have to take care while preparation of a gate examination so whenever you do the planning okay so the most important thing that you people can do is try to take one particular goal which is very much achievable now remove distraction this is the most important part this is the most important thing that student used to feel when they are trying to interact with us so distraction you know just try to write down all the problems just try to write down all the distractions that you people are going through for example some people they are having the problems with they are using mobile phone their screen times are more than 10 hours but they are not doing any effective work so you have to clearly write down all the distraction i'm not saying that all the distractions you can remove immediately what i can say that you can remove the distractions one by one so this is also a very important point if you are feeling a distracted if you are not focusing on anywhere if you are not clearly focusing on how to prepare for gate examinations so i will also suggest that try to remove the distraction at all the levels uh i cannot say that you you have to remove it what i can say that you can keep on minimizing your distraction that is the most important point and second thing that i want to tell you is fix your study time whether you want to study 2 hours on each and every day try to increase gradually for example for one month you are studying for 2 hours for the second month try to increase by 10 minutes for the third one try to increase by 30 minutes try to increase by 40 minutes try to increase by 1 hour first fix your schedule first fix your studying time and then try to gradually increase your you know the uh, hours and maintain motivation so the first thing that you people have to ask to yourself why am i preparing for gate examination what is the use of preparing the gate examination so for example uh, when i used to interact with my previous students i used to ask a very simple and very profound questions to each and every one why are you preparing for gate examination they used to say that sir i want to go to a good iit sir i want to go to joint psu sir i want to do the research so the first thing that is your motivational factor that is your x factor if you do not have that motivation if you do not that have x factor there is no point of because after certain point gate is not just a one month examination gate is not just a two month examination gate is basically a six month examination or you have to keep on studying for more than 6 months you have to keep on studying for more than 8 months you have to keep on studying for more than 12 months so you should have the motivation you should have some fruits which you people are waiting for that okay i want to join this particular iit so in another way what i can suggest you also whenever you wake up in the morning the first thing that you have to do you know try to maintain a pen and book or pen and diary diary and pen along with you wherever you people are having your you know whenever you people are sleeping so once you are waking up just try to write down your goal for 2028 i will be in iit bombay for 2029 i must be getting one cr of package that is the best motivation because if you do not have a goal if you do not have the motivation there is no point and you will not feel energetic you will not feel motivated to study for something you will not feel anything to achieve something in your gate examination so this is also very very important and people do lack the consistency people have the problems why they are having a problem because they do not have that proper goal with them so you have to maintain the motivation use active learning technique in this active learning technique what i can suggest you can use pomodoro technique what it says 25 minutes of focus studies followed by 5 minute of break so this is also very very important what you do try to study for 25 minutes and then take a 5 minutes break try to study for 25 minutes and try to take a 5 minutes break this you can do for over overall for certain amount of time and then you will feel that you have studied for more than 3 hours you have studied for more than 4 hours so use the active learning technique which is also very very important next one in active learning technique you can also go for self quizzing for example suppose if you are studying for one hour just 
you know close your book and ask yourself what are the things that i have just now learned okay these are these all are the theorems what is the actual use of theorems what kind of questions that gate can ask on this particular topic what kind of questions theory questions they can frame on this particular topic what kind of uh, the uh, uh, you know the uh, numerical questions they can ask on this particular topic what kind of msq questions they can ask on this particular topic so you have to ask yourself or another way of saying that ki you can summarize information in your own words this is also a very active learning technique so summarize the information in your own words okay and uh, suppose if you are having some other friend what you do for example sometimes the people used to have the habit you know after studying you know they used to talk or they are having the habit of talking to some other students or with their friends so at that point of time you can also take a utilization of that what you do try to call that person and try to tell that for this number of hours for previous 2 hours i have studied this and this is a summary of this particular topic so these all are the active learning techniques and try to take care about okay your progress so what 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 are the things that you have studied till now for example see because when you do not uh, maintain your progress progress when you do not track your progress then you will not feel motivated that is also the most important thing that the people use does not have the consistency in their examination people does not have the consistency while studying for for gate examination so what do you do try to maintain one book where you try to progress your where you try to track your progress for example how you can track your progress uh, how much number of or what is the time of studying you are doing for example for one day you are studying for 2 hours for another day you are studying for 2.5 hours so try to maintain that progress record because that is very very important in another word in simple word i want you to uh, maintain the same thing what you people used to maintain in your school days in school days we used to maintain the diaries in school days we are very particular about discipline at around 9 o'clock i have to go to school at around 7 o'clock i have to go to school so those are the things again you have to implement sometimes the student used to say that sir this is very rubbish sir this is out of context no this is very much important because the most discipline you people were at the time of school you also accept that particular statement so if you try to maintain the same discipline nowadays also believe me it will be very helpful and stay healthy most of the time this is the most underrated statement or this is the most underrated thing that people used to ignore it you cannot focus in your examination if you are not healthy so try to maintain the 8 hour sleep people used to say that try to sleep for 4 hours try to sleep for 6 hours no try to maintain the uninterrupted 8 hours of sleep after that you have to you know give a complete attention to your gate examination so stay healthy is also very very important try to do the 20 to 25 minutes of exercise and believe me this will be very helpful in order to do the focus for example if you are not healthy your mind will not be healthy if your mind will not be healthy you cannot focus you cannot concentrate if you cannot concentrate there is no effective utilization of time you cannot concentrate there is no effective studying time so there is no point of doing all this thing so the most important thing i think i should start by saying the first statement would be the stay healthy and then prepare for gate 2026 or gate 2027 and be kind to yourself what is the meaning of that to be kind to yourself for example suppose if you prepared one particular plan for one month you have to complete you know two subjects three subjects somehow it has not been completed you have only you have only completed one particular subjects or 1.5 particular subjects so be kind to yourself try to have the some motivation so that for the next month i will try to cover this much for the next month i'll try to cover this much do not go into the irritation state so that sir i'm very you know i got irritated just because of i cannot prepare this much no be kind to yourself it will happen not maybe for this month but maybe for next month next to next month so this kind of things are very very important theek hai everyone so i hope that i have make you to give you all the things so summary i can say that try to fix your studying time do whatever you want to do if you are fixing your time for 3 hours theek hai every day try to stick to that particular time only it will be very beneficial 
for example every day if you are preparing for 12 9 to 12 try to prepare 9 to 12 for each and every day do whatever you want to do okay whatever happens with you just sit for 9 to 12 suppose sir sometimes i feel that i i am not feeling motivated i do not have discipline I, i do not have any particular subjects to prepare no no excuse at all try to sit for 9 to 12 study study and study that's the only part you can do it okay so keep record uh, record of all the things stay healthy okay and fix your studying time try uh, you know take care about your mental health also and track your progress and uh, use the active learning technique these all are the important things you can maintain your discipline it is very easy and one more thing i want to tell you this all worlds this world wants to give you something but you should accept it and how you can accept it when you are manifest when when you do the manifestation sir i want to go to there i want to do this i want to have this much of placement so try to first you try to manifest and ask from the universe universe is ready to give you everything but you are not ready why you are not ready because you are not maintaining the discipline you are not maintaining the consistency so do it everything will come to you but in return you have to do the hard work okay thank you